The two-day national protest organized by the Nigerian Labour Congress in solidarity with the Academic Staff Union of Universities and other tertiary institutions unions has recorded a massive turnout in Kaduna. Students from various tertiary institutions across the state and 46 other unions have also joined in the protest to compel the federal government of Nigeria to resolve the lingering issues of strike to reopen universities for academic activities to save the future of Nigerian students and the nation's education system. Plus TV correspondent Habila Darofai filed in this report as presented from our studios. The protesters converged at NLC secretaries in Kaduna State and then proceeded to the State House of Assembly to tender their letter for the consideration of the plight of students and lecturers, carrying placards with various inscriptions and chanting solidarity songs. Speaking after tendering the letter at the House, NLC Chairman Kaduna State, Comrade Ayuba Magachi, said that no country develops without a good education system and that the non challenge of leaders towards education is affecting students. Uh, this honorable protest, or rally rather, is we are pressing home the demand of our place, four of them in the public university, in particular ASU, NASU, SANU, and NAD. Uh, the demand is simple. They wanted to see the standard of education, particularly that of the university, is upgraded and is enhanced through the provision of good working conditions for the staffs, through the provision of standard infrastructure for lecturing, for student hostels, and for even staff quarters. Responding, the representative of the State Assembly, who is a Deputy Speaker, Honorable Isaac Alta, said that the House will do everything possible to ensure that their demands are met, and also assured them of the Speaker's readiness to meet with the government and other relevant stakeholders to the strike actions. As the Chairman of the Northern State, uh, Northern State Assembly's Speaker, Speakers, he is already in Abuja trying to weigh into this very matter. On a very sincere note. Also, the chairman of the Senior Staff Association of Nigerian Universities, ABU Zaria, Comrade Muhammadu Yunusa, expresses displeasure over the lingering strike. Well, election is coming quite all right, and uh, the, the electorate, that is the people that are going to vote, should understand that these people, most of them that are coming out to contest, their children are not in this university, in these tertiary institutions. Most of them, their children are outside. So. I am appealing to our, to, to, to our people that in the next coming election, they should ensure that they elect people that are credible, people that, are, that have the concern of the masses in their minds. Some of the lecturers say they won't resume until their demands are met. The insensitivity of the government towards its non respected of uh, agreement duly signed, honorably signed by the government. Now they are making it an issue as if they were coerced into signing that agreement. It is rather unfortunate. Strike have really, really affected us. We are getting to six months at home. And this six months at home, a lot of us are not doing nothing. And look at the situation of the, of the country. Look at what is happening. Insecurity here and there. Conflict here and there, insurgency here and there, terrorism here and there. The son, the daughter of the poor man is not even been able to give any opportunity. Let me tell you who are the bandits. It is the student, the people that are on ground, the people that are at home. They use them and change their mentality to become the bandits. And now you push out from the school, out from the institution. What do you want us to become? The Nigerian Labour Congress insists it will embark on another three-day warning strike immediately after the protest in solidarity with the striking lecturers until the government meets their demands. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.